approach goals. These are goals that a person must move toward or take steps to acquire. The goal is to attain something. Arbitrary. In linguistics, language is described as arbitrary if the form of a word does not need to have direct correspondence with the thing it refers to. Argument. In the study of inductive reasoning, an argument is a series of statements in which some facts are presented as premises that support a conclusion. The strength of that conclusion is dependent on its relationship to the premises and the relationship of the premises to each other. Associative learning. A broadly defined class of cognitive and behavioral processes concerned with learning to associate two or more events or stimuli. Classical condition, for example, learning that sound predicts food, is an example of associative learning. Availability heuristic, the tendency to base judgments or decisions on the information that is most available in memory or information that is most easily brought to mind. This can lead to a bias in which people ignore or discount relevant, less available information in favor of what is in their active memory, such as base rates. Avoidance goals. These are goals in which a person must avoid something in order to achieve the goal. An example would be avoiding actions that would lead to being terminated from a job. Base rate. The base rate of occurrence is the underlying probability, known or unknown, of some event occurring in the general population. Base rate neglect. Base rate neglect is the tendency to ignore base rate information even when it is given or known. Basic level. Basic level concepts are those that are abstract enough to be general, but the members still share the same shape, movement, and biology. Basic level concepts maximize within category similarity and also maximize between category discriminability. We tend to name objects at the basic level and learn their names first. Bayes' theorem, the general theory that we can use prior information and base rates to determine the probability of an event. Behavioral equivalence class, an operational definition of a category, where a category is a group of things that we behave the same way towards or that elicit the same response. Belief bias, a cognitive bias in which people find it easier to evaluate believable statements as being valid and non-believable statements as being invalid. Between category similarity, the level of similarity between members of different categories. Bias. In memory, one of Schachter's seven sins of memory, this refers to the distorting influences of a person's present knowledge, their beliefs, and their feelings on the recollection of previous experiences. Blank predicate. In the study of categorical induction, a blank predicate is some property that we wish to infer about an object. It is blank because it is plausible but not directly known by the respondent, and so the answer can only be inferred by inductive reasoning. Blocking. In memory. One of Schachter's seven sins of memory, blocking refers to a failure of memory when a person cannot recall something that is present in memory, possibly due to a temporary block. Candle box problem. The candle box problem was originally described by Dunker and presented subjects with a box of tacks, some matches, and a candle. When the tacks were in the box, subjects had trouble solving the problem of affixing the candle to the wall to light the room because the box's function was fixed. When it was empty and the tacks were provided outside the box, subjects solved the problem by tacking the empty box to the wall to make a shelf. Card selection task. Also known as the Waysen card selection task, this is a cognitive test in which people evaluate conditional statements about what appears on one side or the other of four cards. For example, if there is a vowel on one side of the card, there is an even number on the other. They then test the statement by indicating which cards to turn over to evaluate the validity of the statement. Categorical induction. The process of inferring or inducing features and properties of things based on their category membership. Categorical syllogism. A syllogism is a formal statement in which several premises, for example, all A's are B, all C's are B, are followed by a conclusion. Category. A group of things, objects, events, or ideas that go together because of perceptual similarity, shared features, shared origin, or related function. In the external world. 
Central Executive. The central executive in Badley's working memory model represents cognitive control over the different modes of working memory, visual, verbal, and episodic, and coordinates cognitive resources. Certainty effect. The certainty effect is the tendency for people to choose options with a certain, or seemingly certain, likelihood of occurrence. Change blindness. A phenomenon where people fail to notice significant changes in a scene they are observing. The explanation is that the change is not consistent with the schema or memory for the scene, and so the inconsistency is not noticed. Characteristic features. Features that are characteristic of category members. Characteristic features are common to category members, but not necessarily required for all category members. City block metric. The psychological distance metric between a pair of objects when the comparison is being made along separable perceptual dimensions. Each dimension is included separately in the distance calculation. Classical reasoning, also known as categorical reasoning, classical reasoning involves arriving at a conclusion about a class or category of things or arriving at a conclusion about a particular thing as a result of that thing being a member of a class or category. Classical view. A theory of conceptual representation arguing that category membership is absolute and concepts are definitional in nature. According to the classical view, a concept is the set of jointly necessary and sufficient conditions needed to classify members. Necessary means required and sufficient means enough. Cognitive bias. A cognitive bias is an example of a heuristic that results when our tendency to use cognitive shortcuts or quick, available information leads us to respond in a systematically biased way. Cognitive efficiency. The idea that a cognitive system is organized to reduce the time to retrieve, activate relevant information. Cognitive flexibility. A general term that refers to high-level cognitive functioning and complex cognition involving the coordination of attention, working memory, and language. Cognitive flexibility can also be the ability to consider multiple solutions or outcomes to a certain task. Cognitive resources, an umbrella term for basic cognitive and brain processes like working memory attention, a thinking task that is said to rely heavily on cognitive resources might be one that involves a lot of concentration, effort, and memory. Cognitive revolution. The cognitive revolution was a period of time in the middle of the 1900s when experimental psychology transitioned quickly from a scientific approach that emphasized behaviorism and the laws of learning to a scientific approach that emphasized cognition, mental representations, and information processing. Concept. A mental representation for a category of things or ideas Concepts represent the convergence of perceptual, functional, logical, and lexical information associated with a class or category. Conceptual metaphor. A theory put forth by George Lakoff, claiming that many of the expressions we use are related to abstract metaphors in the mind. Expressions like, spend some time, or it cost me a half a day, arise because we have a cultural conceptual metaphor time is money that causes us to think about these two concepts in a related way. Conclusion. In inductive reasoning, the conclusion is the actual inference and it usually concerns the possible projection of a predicate to some conclusion, object, or category. In deductive reasoning, the conclusion is the final statement or the deduction that is being drawn. Concrete results. According to Erickson, Experts produce concrete results in their area of expertise, that is, they are able to produce an objectively better performance than novices, and the outcomes of this performance can be assessed or measured concretely. Conditional reasoning. Conditional reasoning, often expressed with if-then statements, involves arriving at conclusions when certain conditions are met or not met. Confirmation bias. A cognitive bias in which people tend to seek out or prefer evidence that confirms a statement and ignore or downplay evidence that could disconfirm. Conjunction fallacy. A conjunction fallacy is a common cognitive bias in which people incorrectly assume that an object is more likely to be a member of two categories, the conjunction, 
than to be in either one of the categories alone. People make this mistake because they use their familiarity with one of the concepts to override a judgment based on probability. Consequent. The consequent is the second part of a conditional reasoning, if-then statement. Constraint satisfaction. A theory of sentence processing that suggests we use our probabilistic knowledge of what words and events go together in a sentence in order to quickly construct a mental model for a sentence by satisfying constraints. Count noun. A noun that refers to things that can be counted. Horse is a count noun because you can refer to one horse or many horses. Creativity. Creativity is a thought process that involves noticing unexpected connections between concepts, generating new and novel solutions to problems, and recognizing the need for alternative perspectives. Current state. In a problem, the current state is where the solver begins with the problem unsolved. Declarative memory. Declarative memory is memory that you can explicitly declare the existence of. This would include memory for facts, events, names, and things. Deep features. In problem solving and reasoning, deep features are those that are related to the goal, the solution, or the conceptual meaning of an object or event. This is in contrast to the surface features which are immediately available to perception. Deep processing. Within the levels of processing framework, deep processing refers to processing information in terms of semantics and meaning. Deep structure, the underlying meaning of a sentence or phrase. Default interventionist approach, another name for the dual process account, emphasizing the idea that system one, the fast system, is the default system and that it occasionally needs intervention from system, system two, slow system, to generate answers. In many complex expert domains, such as medicine or law, the default interventionist approach is taught as a way to be mindful of decisions and reasoning. Deliberate practice. Deliberate practice is practice that is deliberately designed to improve, not just maintain, performance. Deontic selection task. A variation on the waste and card selection task in which the statements deal with permission, what may happen, rather than more abstract premises. People are much less likely to show confirmation bias in a deontic selection task. Discriminability. The degree to which members of one category can be discriminated or differentiated from those of another category. Domain general. A domain general construct is a psychological construct that operates the same way in different domains. Visual and auditory similarity, for example, may work in the same abstract way. DRM task. The Dies Rodiger McDermott, or DRM task, is a paradigm that will reliably produce false memories. People are presented with lists of words, and each list of words has a theme or a gist. When later asked to recognize words that were either on the list or not on the list, people often falsely recognize words that were central to the gist but did not appear on the list. Dual process account theory. Also known as dual systems theory, this is high-level theory put forth by Evans, Stanovich, Kahneman that assumes we use two broadly defined systems of thinking. System 1 is fast, intuitive, and relies on brain areas found in many animals. System 2 is slower, more deliberate, language-based, and relies on brain areas that are highly developed in humans. Effortful encoding. Some information requires concentrated and conscious effort in order to encode for later recall. This is referred to as effortful encoding. Ego depletion. A theory which proposes that self-regulation and self-control are finite and can be depleted and replenished. Operationally, ego depletion is shown when a person engages in a cognitively demanding task, which depletes cognitive resources and that reduces their performance on a subsequent task. Encoding. An umbrella term for the cognitive processes that are needed to attend to, process, and remember information with the possibility of recalling it later. Endowment effect. The endowment effect is a specific case of status quo bias in which people endow an object with a higher value than they would be willing to pay for the same object in other circumstances. Entitativity. 
a measure of category coherence that takes into account how similar category members are, how informative it is to know something's membership in that category, and whether or not members of a category possess an inherent essence. Entrenchment, a term or a property that has a history of usage within a culture or language. Episodic memory. This is a term coined by Endel Tulving that refers to memory for personal events. These can be events in the past or prospective events that have not yet happened. Tulving also refers to episodic memory as mental time travel. Euclidean metric. The psychological distance metric between a pair of objects when the comparison is being made along integral perceptual dimensions. All the dimensions are included simultaneously in the distance calculation. For example, color and sheen. Eureka moment, aha moment. The moment of insight or illumination when the solution to a challenging problem or creative insight seems to arrive suddenly and all at once. Evaluation stage. The stage of problem-solving creativity in which various solutions are tested and examined. Exchangeable events. These are events for which the probabilities are fixed and known, and for which an exchange of one variety of event will not change the probabilities. Exemplar memory. In expert problem-solving and reasoning, exemplar memory often contrasts with analytic reasoning and is seen when experts draw upon their rich memory to base decisions and solve problems on the basis of similar cases in memory. Exemplar theory. A theory of category representation which assumes that categories are represented as memories for similar instances or exemplars. Exhaustive search, a general search algorithm in which all possible solutions are examined before selecting the optimal solution. Expected utility, the predicted value and psychological utility of an outcome. Expected utility takes into account more than just value, because some events have other non-monetary utility, like enjoyment. Expected value. The predicted value of an event, taking into account the value and the costs of the associated outcomes, along with the probabilities of each. Extrinsic motivation. Motivation to engage in an activity that is primarily generated by factors external to the person, such as a societal or employment obligation. Facts. In a syllogism or argument, facts are the units that make up a premise. Facts are statements that can be true or false. Family resemblance. The idea that category members are similar and or belong in the same category because they share many characteristic features. Feature coverage. A theory of categorical induction that emphasizes features rather than category membership. If a premise and a conclusion are similar to each other, They share many features, and thus there is a high degree of feature coverage. Focal color. A focal color is a color that seems to be in the center of its category. For example, among all colors that are called red, the focal color would be the best example of red, the one that most people would select as the most red, and is the prototype for that category. Folk theory. A folk theory is a theory about the world or a description for a concept that is common in a linguistic and cultural context, but not necessarily scientifically accurate. Framing. In decision-making, framing effects occur when the semantic context of a decision scenario affects the choices that people make. When options are framed in terms of gains, people tend to avoid risk, but when options are framed in terms of loss, people tend to seek risk to avoid loss. Frequency theories of probability. According to Barron, Frequency theories are based on people's ability to notice and remember the occurrence or non-occurrence of events. Functional fixedness. Functional fixedness, seen in the candle box problem, arises when the function of an object or idea is fixed to its most common function. This can interfere with problem solving if that function is not the correct one for solving the problem. Fundamental paradox of rationality. A paradox described by Johnson Laird describing how rationality should be a necessary condition for correct decision-making and should be a hallmark of formal, mature thinking. But most people do not employ rational thinking and still make accurate and adaptive decisions and judgments. Gambler's fallacy. 
A gambler's fallacy is the tendency to treat independent events as dependent, to rely on representativeness when reasoning about random events, and to attribute outcomes to unlikely sources like good or bad luck. Garden path. A grammatically correct but ambiguous sentence in which the grammar forces the reader listener to reach the wrong interpretation and arrive at a conclusion that is in opposition to what was intended. Generalization. An inductive conclusion that is a broad conclusion about a whole class or group of things assumed to share properties. Generation stage. Decision making. The decision making stage in which decision alternatives are generated. Either from memory or by reasoning. Gestalt approach. This was one of the primary approaches to the study of thinking in the early part of the 1900s. The Gestalt approach emphasized the idea that humans are biased to perceive whole objects rather than parts. Givens. In a problem, the givens are aspects that are known in advance. These can help or impede finding the correct solution. Goal-derived categories. Goal-derived categories are categories that are organized around a goal or solution, rather than perceptual features. Goal state: In a problem, the goal state is the state in which the problem is solved and the obstacle no longer remains. Heuristic: A heuristic is a cognitive shortcut and a way to use one's knowledge and familiarity with something to solve a problem or make a judgment. Relative to algorithms, a complete step-by-step way of doing things, heuristics are usually, though not always, correct but demand fewer cognitive resources and result in a faster outcome. Hierarchical view, a theory of conceptual representation which assumes that concepts are related to other concepts as hierarchies, where lower-level members, i.e., Siamese cat, all share properties of the superordinate concept, i.e., cat and animal. Hill climbing. Hill climbing is a general-purpose heuristic for solving unfamiliar problems, in which the solver only considers steps that will move the current state closer to the goal state. Identification stage. Decision making. The decision making stage in which the decision is identified and framed. Ill-defined problem. An ill-defined problem is one in which one or more of the parts, for example, initial state, goal state, etc. Are not defined or are unknown. Illumination stage, a stage in problem solving and creativity, often associated with insight problems, in which a solution to a problem or the creative insight seems to arrive suddenly. Implicit memory, an umbrella term for the unintentional or non-conscious effects of previously encountered information on the current processing of new information. Incidental encoding. Some information does not require much or any concentrated conscious effort in order to be encoded for later recall. This is referred to as incidental encoding. Inclusion fallacy: a common inductive error in which people assume that an argument about a subset of category members is less believable than an argument about the whole category that includes the subset. Incubation stage. A stage of problem solving in which the solver stops actively working to solve the problem, but during which spreading activation and memory consolidation continue, the problem is then easier to solve when the solver continues at some future time. Independence: Events are independent if the outcome of one event does not affect the probabilities of the outcomes of subsequent events. Inductive inference: Making a prediction about something based on its category membership. An example would be inferring that a dog will be able to bark because you recognize it as a member of the dog category, which has the property of able to bark. Inferences: conclusions based on the available or observable evidence, or from evidence previously observed. Inflexibility: the tendency for experts to occasionally fail to adapt and to make mistakes because they rely on memory and may fail to take new information into account. Inhibition, in executive functioning, inhibition or inhibitory control refers to the act of ignoring or inhibiting attention to a stimulus. Inner voice, in working memory, the inner voice is another term for the phonological loop. The inner voice relies on areas of the brain used to produce and comprehend language. Inside problem, a problem that is difficult or impossible to solve in its original representation. 
but can be solved when the solver recognizes the trick or alternative representation by insight. Intentional encoding. A contrast to incidental encoding, intentional encoding refers to situations in which a person intends to learn some information for later recall. Intermediate effect. In medicine, the intermediate effect is seen when early and mid-career doctors do not perform as well as expected. This is thought to coincide with the transition from performance based on analytic reasoning to performance based on exemplary memory and encapsulated knowledge. Intimation stage. In creativity, this is a stage when you feel like a possible solution is imminent but not yet available. Intrinsic motivation. Motivation to engage in an activity that is primarily self-generated, doing something because you want to do it. Judgment stage, decision-making. The decision-making stage in which decision alternatives and outcomes are evaluated. Knowledge encapsulation. Knowledge encapsulation is seen in experts and refers to the integration and consolidation of basic biomedical concepts and clinical propositions into a single representation. Lateral thinking. According to De Bono, lateral thinking is thinking broadly around a problem. Law of large numbers. An event with a very low likelihood may eventually be observed, given enough time and enough observations. Law of proximity. There is an assumption of the Gestalt approach, which states that features or figures that are near each other, proximal, will tend to be perceived as belonging to the same object. Law of similarity. There is an assumption of Gestalt theory, which states that elements or features in a group of objects are perceived as belonging together if the objects are similar to each other. Learning styles. The belief that people have a preferred style of learning, visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and they will learn better if they receive information in their preferred style. There is no reliable, empirical evidence for this theory, however. Levels of processing. A theory described by Craig and Tulving, the levels of processing theory suggests that people process stimuli at different levels. Attending to the physical characteristics of a stimulus is referred to as shallow processing. Attending to the semantic or meaning-based level of a stimulus is referred to as deep processing. For memory, Deeper processing usually leads to superior recall. Lexical decision task. A lexical decision task is a task in which letter strings that are either words or non-words are presented visually to a subject, and the subject must decide as quickly as possible if the string is a word or a non-word. Reaction time to respond is usually measured. Linear separability. The idea that some categories can be differentiated from others by a linear combination of features. Prototype models have a linear separability constraint. Categories need to be linearly separable for the prototype model, whereas exemplar models do not. Linguistic determinism. The idea that a person's language determines how they perceive the world and how they think. This is a stronger version of the linguistic relativity idea. Linguistic inference. A prediction, sometimes automatic, based on the contents of a sentence that helps the reader-listener understand. These inferences are sometimes used to predict what words will come next in a sentence or to predict semantic context about the events in the sentence. Linguistic relativity, a theory suggesting that a person's native language influences how they think and that differences in thinking between linguistic cultural groups will emerge relative to existing differences in a person's native language. Logical theories of probability. According to Barron, logical theories rely on the knowledge of known probabilities of exchangeable events, for example, cards, dice, etc. Long-term memory. This is a general term for all the forms of memory and knowledge that are not included in the working memory system. Loss aversion. The general tendency, explained in prospect theory, for people to make decisions that avoid loss. This can lead to biases like sunk cost, status quo bias, and the endowment effect. Mass noun, a noun that refers to something that cannot be counted, such as a substance or quality. Water is an example of a mass noun because it cannot be counted as a number of discrete units. Means, in problem solving, 
The means are the actions or steps one takes to solve the problem. Means end analysis, a general purpose problem solving strategy in which a complex problem is broken up into smaller problems with smaller sub goals that are more easily solved. Mental representation, a mental representation is a stable state of activation within a cognitive neural system that corresponds to an event, object, or idea. Thinking involves creating, processing, and manipulating mental representations. Minimality assumption, an assumption of the geometric model that states nothing can be more similar to an object than it is to itself. Self-similarity is the maximum similarity and therefore the minimum distance. Misattribution, one of Schachter's seven sins of memory, this refers to remembering a fact correctly, but misattributing it to an incorrect source or context. Modality specific, this refers to any cognitive process that is tied to a perceptual modality like hearing or vision. Within working memory, the subsystems are closely aligned with perceptual input of vision, audition, and temporal episode. Modus ponens, a form of conditional reasoning that is also known as affirming the antecedent, in which one premise introduces an if-then statement, and the second premise confirms the antecedent, the if statement, allowing a valid decision to be made about the consequent, the then statement. Modus tollens, a form of conditional reasoning that is also known as denying the consequent, in which one premise introduces an if-then statement, and the second premise denies the consequent, the then statement, allowing a valid decision to be made about the antecedent, the if statement. Monolexemic, a word with only one central meaning. The term red is monolexemic with respect to color because it refers to one color and the term cannot be broken down into constituent words. Motor memory, any form of memory in which the recall of the memory is correctly carrying out a motor action. Learning a sequence of key presses to unlock a keypad would be an example of a motor memory. Multidimensional scaling, MDS, a computational technique that takes pairwise ratings of similarity and calculates the resulting psychological space of the entire set of objects. Objects that are similar will appear to be near each other in the plotted psychological space. Objects that are dissimilar will appear to be far from each other in plotted psychological space. Multitasking. Multitasking is the ability to carry out more than one behavior or cognitive task at the same time. Multitasking usually involves switching between the tasks. Multitasking can be easier if the tasks are cognitively unrelated and do not share many cognitive resources, and more challenging when they share many cognitive resources. Natural kinds. Natural groupings or categories of things that possess similar properties. Necessary conditions. In the classical view of concepts, an object must possess these necessary features in order to be a member of a category. So they're required. Neuro myth, a commonly held belief about how the brain works that is not supported by reliable scientific evidence. Non-declarative memory, this includes any form of memory that is not explicitly describable. Examples would be procedural memories as well as many implicit memories. Novelty, creative output needs to be sufficiently new or novel in order to be recognized as creative. Nudge. According to Thaler, nudges are small policy initiatives that will work with people's biases to nudge them to make better decisions. Obstacles. In a problem, the obstacles are anything that impedes a direct route from the initial state to a goal state. Operators. These are the terms in an argument like if, then, not, some, all, therefore, that combine facts, premises and conclusions into a deductive argument or rule. The cumulative probability of several independent events can be calculated by adding the individual probabilities so that you obtain the probability of event one or event two or event three, etc. Paired associate learning, a task in which people learn information in pairs in a way that one member of the pair could be a cue for the other. Pairwise similarity, a similarity rating between two pairs of objects. Particular affirmative, 
a categorical premise in the form of some A's are B's, particular negative, a categorical premise in the form of some A's are not B's, persistence, one of Schachter's seven sins of memory, this is the tendency for some memories to linger and persist, often to the psychological detriment of the person. Personal theories of probability. According to Barron, personal theories rely on a person's knowledge, beliefs, and preferences. Phonological loop. One of the core subsystems of Alan Badley's working memory system, the phonological loop relies on basic language mechanisms to create a temporary storage buffer for auditory, acoustic, and language-based information. Predicates. These can be things, properties, or features about category members and are the basic facts that are used to generate indicative inferences. Premise. A premise is a combination of facts and operators that makes a statement a fact about something. Premises can lead to a conclusion and the combination of premises and conclusion is an argument. Premise conclusion similarity. The idea that inductive arguments are strong to the extent that the categories in the premises are similar to the categories in the conclusion. Premise diversity. An effect in induction in which an argument is strong when several premises are dissimilar to each other. The premise diversity increases the coverage and as a result, it strengthens the argument. Premise typicality. An effect in induction in which an argument is strong when one or more highly typical premises are used to draw conclusions from. Preparation stage. The preparation stage of problem solving is when the problem is identified and framed. Prevention focus. A state or trait in which the individual is focused on possible losses in the environment. Probabilistic view. Any theory of conceptual representation which assumes that category membership is probabilistic rather than absolute. Prototype theory and exemplar theory are both examples of probabilistic theories. Problem. A problem is a gap, barrier, or obstacle interfering with a direct path between the initial or current state of affairs and the eventual goal. Problem of induction. The name given to the problem of whether or not induction can be studied formally or philosophically. Problem representation, the mental representation of the problem and problem space. Problem space, the problem space approach is a theory from Newell and Simon that describes problem solving as the search for a solution path between the initial and goal states. According to Newell and Simon, the problem space is the arrangement of the current state, the goal, the obstacles to reaching that goal, and the operators that allow one to reach the goal. Solving a problem is a process of moving through the problem space from the initial state to the goal state. Procedural memory. Procedural memories are an example of a non-declarative memory. These can be primarily motor-based, as in being able to recall how to write your name or how to ride a bicycle. Production stage. The production stage of problem solving is the stage where the possible solution paths are produced. Productive. A language is productive if a finite set of units can produce an unrestricted set of outputs. Productive thinking. Productive thinking is thinking that generates new ideas, new behaviors, or new conclusions about the world. An example of productive thinking is solving problems by insight. Promotion focus. A state or trait in which the individual is focused on possible gains in the environment. Prospect theory. A general theory of decision-making, described by Kahneman and Tversky, which assumes that decisions are made with respect to subjective estimates of probability and the prospect of gains and losses. Protocol analysis, an analytic technique in which people are asked to think aloud as they solve problems and the contents of their verbal reports are analyzed. Prototype theory, a theory of category representation, which assumes that categories are represented as prototypes, which are abstractions that summarize typical and or ideal features. Quality. Creative output needs to be of sufficiently high quality as rated by experts, the market, or peers in order to be recognized as creative. Rational model. The standard normative model of decision-making, which assumes that people calculate an expected value utility 
for possible outcomes and choose the outcome with the highest value. Recall. The term recall refers to situations where previously encountered information is brought into working memory or consciousness. Recognition. The term recognition refers to situations in which a current stimulus evokes a feeling of familiarity and is recognized as something that occurred in the past. Regret. The tendency to make decisions that will avoid future feelings of regret. Regularity. Creative output needs to be produced on a regular basis in order to be recognized as creative. Regulatory fit. A state in which a personal regulatory focus, promotion, prevention, matches with the environment, gain, loss. When there is a state of regulatory fit, performance on certain tasks requiring cognitive flexibility might be enhanced. Regulatory focus. The state or trait concerned with how a person regulates goal attainment. This can be a promotion focus or prevention focus. Regulatory mismatch, a state in which a personal regulatory focus, promotion or prevention, mismatches with the environment, gain or loss. When there is a state of regulatory mismatch, performance on certain tasks requiring cognitive flexibility might be reduced. Remote associate test, a common test of creative thinking, in which a person generates a single word or concept. That is common to three or more words. Replicable performance, according to Erickson, expertise should be able to be reproduced and is not the result of a chance event or luck. Representativeness heuristic, a common cognitive heuristic in which people base their predictions about things on the prototype of the category for which that thing is a member. This can lead to a bias because the conclusion entity may not have all of the features typical of the category. Reproductive thinking. Reproductive thinking is thinking that emphasizes the recall of information from memory. Retrieval, a general term that refers to intentionally probing one's memory to recall some information. Risk aversion, the tendency of people to make decisions that avoid risk. Risk aversion is predicted by prospect theory and is related to certainty effects. Sapir-Whorf hypothesis. A specific version of linguistic relativity determinism, originally put forward independently by Edward Sapir and Benjamin Whorf in the early 1900s, which assumes that a person's native language determines how they perceive the world and how they carry out cognitive functions. Satisficing, an idea from Herbert Simon, which suggests that we often base decisions on what satisfies a criterion rather than on what might be the optimal decision. Satisficing. Is contrasted with optimizing and has been linked to happiness. Schema, a mental representation that contains general information for how to think, behave, and what to expect in a common situation. Script, a script is an ordered knowledge structure that is used for explaining things. Semantic memory, considered to be part of the declarative memory system. Semantic memory is memory for general facts. Semantic network: Any theory of conceptual representation assumes that related concepts are stored near each other in conceptual psychological space as part of a network of related concepts. Sensory memory: Sensory memory is very short-term memory for sensory information, usually before any cognitive appraisal or processing. Sentence verification task: A sentence verification task or a property verification task. Is one used to probe the relationship between several facts? People are presented with a proposition sentence and are asked to verify the truth of that sentence. Separable dimensions, perceptual dimensions or features that can be perceived separately, like height and width. Serial sentence parsing, also known as the garden path model, this is a theory of sentence processing, which assumes that we construct a sentence tree concept of a sentence. By connecting words to phrases and ideas in the order in which we hear them, seven sins of memory. According to Daniel Schachter, there are seven ways in which memory often leads people to make mistakes. These are transience, absent-mindedness, blocking, misattribution, suggestibility, bias, and persistence. Shallow processing refers to processing information at the sensory and surface level. Short-term memory 
a general term which refers to memory that is active and conscious processing, similar to working memory. Similarity coverage, a theory of induction, which assumes that inductive inferences are made on the basis of a similarity between premise and conclusion, along with the degree of coverage that premises have over the lowest level category that includes all of the premises and the conclusion. Sound argument. A sound argument is one that is valid and for which the premises are known to be true. Spreading activation. A theory about how facts and concepts are connected in long-term memory. In a spreading activation model, activation, assumed to be excitatory neurons, spreads from one active node in the network, presumably the concept that one is thinking about, to other similar concepts. These other similar nodes and concepts then become active as well. Status quo bias, the tendency to make decisions that reduce uncertainty and preserve the current state. Stimulus generalization, the idea that an organism will learn to behave towards new stimuli in the same way as previously encountered stimuli and that the strength of the generalization will be related to the similarity between the stimuli. Subordinate level. Subordinate level concepts are more specific than basic level concepts. Concepts at this level tend to have higher levels of within category similarity and also higher levels of between category similarity. Subvocal rehearsal. A way of repeating information, usually using the inner voice or phonological loop in order to strengthen the memory trace and therefore increase the probability of recalling it later. Sufficient conditions. In the classical view of concepts, if an object possesses these features, this is sufficient for category membership. Enough. Suggestibility. One of Schachter's seven sins of memory. This is the tendency to incorporate information provided by others into your own recollection. Sunk cost bias. The tendency to continue a behavior or continue choosing an option because you have some time invested in it related to the status quo bias. Superior performance. According to Erickson, experts should be able to produce performance that is measurably superior to that of their peers. Superordinate level. Superordinate level concepts are more abstract than basic level concepts. Concepts at this level tend to have lower levels of within category similarity and also lower levels of between category similarity. Surface feature. Surface features are those that are immediately available to direct perceptual experience. Surface similarity. Similarity between two objects or things that is caused by the two objects sharing features at a surface level, like visual features. Surface structure. The surface level features of a sentence or phrase, such as word order and grammar. Symbolic processing. Symbolic processing is the idea that thinking involves manipulating and processing symbols, words, numbers, concepts that correspond to things and ideas in the world. Symmetry assumption. An assumption of the standard geometric model, which assumes that the similarity of two objects should not change as a condition of comparison order. Object A is just as similar to object B as object B is to object A. System 1. In dual process theory, this is the faster, more intuitive, and evolutionarily more primitive system. System 2. In dual process theory, this is the slower, more deliberative, and evolutionarily more recent system. Task switching refers to the cognitive process of switching between different tasks. This is part of the executive function. Theory of mind. A theory of mind is the idea that a person can attribute their own mental states, such as thoughts, beliefs, intentions, and desires, to their own independent mind. A person with a developed theory of mind can also attribute the behavior of others to their own thoughts, motivations, and goals that arise from their own independent mind. This ability is crucial for social interaction and is typically present in healthy children and adults, but may be lacking in infants and may also be impaired in certain mental illnesses and psychoses. Theory view. The theory of conceptual representation, which assumes that categories are formed in accordance with our theories of how the world works, rather than a perceptual overlap among members. Tip of the tongue. 
specific type of memory failure in which the person knows they know the information but cannot recall it. During the failure to recall, the person reports a sensation of almost being able to form the words but still not being able to correctly recall the information. Total feedback. The idea that people are able to hear what they say and receive total feedback on what they produce. Transience. One of Schachter's seven sins of memory. This is the general tendency to lose access to information over time, whether due to forgetting, interference, or retrieval failure. Triangle inequality assumption. An assumption of the standard geometric model, which states that for a set of three objects in psychological space, the additive psychological distance between two pairs of stimuli must be greater than or equal to the distance between any one pair. Typicality effect. A typicality effect occurs when people are quicker to recognize, categorize, and or name members of categories that share more features with other category members, for example, are more typical. Universal affirmative, a categorical premise in the form of all A's are B's. Universal cognitive metaphor, the idea that some metaphors are universal or nearly universal and found in most or all languages. Universal negative, a categorical premise in the form of no A's are B's. Unusual uses test, a common test of creativity in which participants generate unusual, novel, and well elaborated uses for common objects. Valid argument, a valid argument is one for which the stated premises lead to one and only one conclusion. Vertical thinking, according to De Bono, vertical thinking is thinking deeply about a single topic. Visual spatial sketch pad. This is the visual spatial aspect of Badley's working memory system. Well defined problem. A well defined problem is one in which most or all of the components are defined and known. Within category similarity, the level of similarity among members of the same category. Working backwards, a problem solving strategy that focuses on working back from the goal state. This is effective when the goal is well defined and the initial state is not. Working memory. The working memory system is a modality specific theory of short term memory described by Alan Badley. It includes the phonological loop, the visual spatial sketch pad, the episodic buffer, and the central executive.